G'day, I'm Mark Latham for Rebel Australia. Now I've got a very important question for you. Why are we struggling? Why are we finding it so hard to win the war against Islamic State? Well, here in Australia, I've got a two word answer. Sam Dastiari, a Labor Party senator. And the truth is too many of our politicians don't take the threat of radical Islamic terrorism seriously enough. Recently in Sydney, we had terror raids and it was found out the suspects wanted to plant a bomb on the luggage of their brother, so they're going to kill their brother, and uh, 500 people on an Etihad flight. That was the terrorist plot. Sam Dastiari was asked about this earlier this month, and this is how he responded. It's quite remarkable. I really do think there has to be the language of engagement, engaging with leaders, engaging with people. Look, I went and got my book Halal certified. I went and got my book Halal, <laughs> I got it properly Halal certified, right? And part of that in jest, but part of it just making the point that, you know, we have to start bringing these communities into the mainstream. Now he's got to be kidding. How could anyone possibly associate solutions to radical Islamic terrorism with Halal certification? Is that the best he can do? He's turned this into a piece of trivia, into an absolute joke to say that Halal certifying his book is going to be some solution to terrorism? I mean, this is demeaning the issue and demeaning the public debate. This bloke is an absolute clown. And of course, to associate it with Halal certification, is he serious? In the week leading up to that interview on the Channel 7 morning show, we had the controversy in Australia about Mohammed El Mouli, the head of the Halal certification authority in Australia. This is what he put on his Facebook post, Mahuli. He was talking about on his Facebook post the fact that Australian women need Muslim men to fertilise them, here are the words, and keep them surrounded by Muslim babies. He was saying that the white race is going to be extinct in another 40 years and Muslims have a duty to make your women happy because you're all declining. He's saying this in response to a report about declining male fertility rates and he says to Australian men, go choose a plot for yourself at your local cemetery. If you can't afford it, commit suicide. Well, what sort of lunacy is this? This is a form of Islamic supremacy, talking about the extinction of the white race. It's totally unacceptable to have this anti-white racism in Australia. And there's Dastiari himself, promoted as a Muslim, a halal obsessed. The title of his book is One Halal of a Story. He's out there talking about halal certification instead of condemning this bloke, El Mahuli. I mean, Dastiari really here has lost the plot and we know this bloke has form. He's infamous for the financing scandal with Chinese money paying his personal expenses. He's infamous for his own forms of anti-white racism. He's infamous for his video sneering at modest housing stock in Western Sydney. But when it gets to the point, when you can't come up with serious solutions to the threat of radical Islamic terrorism, this bloke could be better off outside the parliament. What about talking about a travel ban? What about ta talking about tightening our migration rules? What about talking about a serious approach to school radicalisation? What about getting rid of the welfare ghettos you've got in these inner western Sydney suburbs where all the terror arrests always take place? Clean them off the welfare rolls. The government should be going door to door to get these people into jobs so they've got something productive to do in society instead of the negativity of plotting against innocent people, trying to blow up planes and damage public places and cost innocent lives. Sam Dastiari is a big part of the problem. He's not part of the solution. These sorts of uh, crazy schemes that he talks about, halal certification of our book. And the truth is with the mainstream media, they give up on this guy's craziness. He's had so many loopy things, they don't report this stuff anymore. You're only getting it here on Rebel Australia. We're going to keep Dastiari honest. He's indicative of all the worst things about the political class. We can do a lot better than this. And Dastiari is an absolute fool. I'm Mark Latham for Rebel Australia. If you like this video, please share it with all your friends on social media. And don't forget the Rebel Media campaign. Very, very important. They can't stop us.